It's Let's been sing a Christmas probably song. Um, nine months since I've done one of these. What are we doing? I forgot how we did this. Hello and welcome. <laughs> you ready? Are, are, you, are you recording? I'm ready. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hi, I'm Hi. Crystal. <laughs> I'm Crystal. And I'm Marilyn. Welcome to a very special and sad episode of Monday Mortgage Matters. On today's episode, we're going to be reminiscing. But why is it a sad episode, Marilyn? You have to tell us. <laughs> this will be my last episode of the Monday Mortgage Matters show. Oh. You probably already thought that I quit because it's been six months <laughs> since I've made an appearance, but I had to go get bangs. <laughs> <laughs> it took that long. <laughs> so to um, commemorate this hallowed event, our producer, our pain in the butt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I mean, the guy that helps me have a job oh. every day. <laughs> Wham! <Well, laughs> We were paying to do this. This, this is what's going on. This is what's going on. Oh, man. He's they were dirty. This is what's oh, going on. Is. And this is what's going on behind the scenes. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon is getting his back washed. <laughs> Watch this one go. Or waxed. You should raise up the uh, shades and scare them to death. <laughs> so, to commemorate this special occasion, our producer, Brandon is going to read us some stats and we're going to see if we can guess some information. All right. So, you ready? Yes. The All voice right. from behind is speaking. <laughs> so, guess the number of closed files that you Me. were involved with. Yes, Marilyn. I'd say, and this was my idea and I didn't think about the number. <laughs> I'm going to say 125. How long have you been here? Five years. So you said 125. 25. All right, I'm Crystal. I'm gonna say 316. Feels like a million. <laughs> Crystal is a lot closer. <laughs> the actual number of closed files to date of the of this recording is 322. Woo! Woo! <laughs> That's a lot. That was a way off. <laughs> Next guess. How many number of days have you worked here? Business days. Business days. I mean, plus or minus, like you know. Not counting holidays. Nine hundred and seventy-four. Uh, <laughs> she has taken. She has worked, including to like this through the day. Two thousand days on the nose. <laughs> no, fourteen hundred and twenty. <laughs> what did I say? Nine hundred something. Okay. I don't remember. Y'all make me nervous, and I messed up on my calculations. <laughs> <laughs> How many hours does that equate to? On One hour million. <laughs> Eleven thousand. 360. That's a lot of hours put in. That is a lot of that hours. Mm -hmm. And we appreciate it. Cool. So what are we covering today, girl? Today Let's talk about it. We don't even know. We're doing this old school style. Sorry. <clears throat> Classic Monday Mortgage Matter. This is a very important topic. This is the four biggest mistakes that first time home buyers make. Yes. So the first thing that we're going to talk about is not accounting for closing costs. The biggest mistake that first time home buyers make is that they forget that they need closing costs, not just the down payment. Can you believe that, Crystal? Closing costs will typically add how much percent of the total cost of the home, Crystal? I'm just going to take a shot in the dark and say 2 to 5 percent. <laughs> you are correct. Oh my gosh. 2 to 5 percent. So let's see if Crystal can do some math. If you're doing a $100,000 loan, okay. about how much closing costs could you plan to add in? say two to five percent <laughs> <laughs> so um, don't forget the closing cost don't do that don't do it don't do it now Chris so what's the second idea the second mistake is not checking your credit score you got to know what your credit score is that's true that is true that is true you got to know tell us about that crystal before buying a home <laughs> you want to check your score to see where you're financially at <clears throat> which is true that is true Generally speaking, the higher your credit score, the lower the interest rate on your mortgage, and a lower interest rate can mean, do I need to look up like this? 
<laughs> can mean significantly lower monthly payments. In other words, a good credit score means you'll spend a lot less on your home yeah. in the long run. <laughs> so, you know what else? If, if your, your credit score isn't great. <laughs> Consider taking some time to improve it before the home shopping gets all because that, you know, that leads right into our next point. Wait, that doesn't lead into our next point. <laughs> we'll just say if you don't have a good credit score but you've already fallen in love with the house, you're in deep, new day. deep water. <laughs> Up a creek without a paddle, I'll just put it that way. It's point number 2A. <laughs> That's a freebie from my outgoing processor. Yeah, that one wasn't on the paper. I no. made that one up myself. But the third mistake that Alabama first time home buyers make, or any state home buyer, the emotional mistake that most home buyers make is they fall in love with the house instead of the block. So that confused. is true because you want to know what your neighbors are like. That is true. We've talked about this before, haven't we? That is. Yes, we have. I think we have. Because what if you have some neighbors that you just don't like? You're stuck with that, that house. True. So you're going to want to find them on Facebook <laughs> and stalk them. <laughs> stalk them so you know what you're dealing with. <laughs> I'm living <laughs> next to this one. <laughs> <laughs> Close those blinds, Mr. Schneider. <laughs> so if you buy the greatest house in the worst neighborhood, that's not a good buy. But if no. you buy the rickety old house in the great neighborhood, you're coming out on top, sister. And you can fix it up and make it your own. And Call Joanna. Call Joanna. <laughs> After all, when it comes to real estate, location is everything. That is true. That is true. Finally, not getting pre-approved for a mortgage. Before you go shopping for your first home, the most important thing you want to do is qualify. Pre-qualification is an estimate of how much you can borrow from your lender. Ideally, that sounds like a Brandon word. You'll want, <laughs> you'll go Big word, Brandon. <laughs> you'll go one step further and get pre-approval, which analyzes your credit worthiness yes. and assures the seller that you can get the deal done. And you know who else can get the deal done? The Steiner Mortgage Team, because right. we got your back. <clears throat> and you know, how do you get pre-approved with the Steiner Mortgage Team? Well, the first thing you want to do is you want to call us at 256-734-6012, or you can just walk right on in to this office. Or <laughs> reach us 24-7, all the time, 365, 365. online at SteinerMortgageTeam.com. It's true. So, from all of us, Snyder Mortgage Team, we want to wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish, wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Better not the unplug plug. or we're going to stop it. I was going to stand up. Be New Year. <laughs> <laughs> we hope you have a great Monday and a great rest of your week. And as for me, this will be my last Monday Mortgage Matters. So just know that I love you and... If you need to see me, I'm sure my picture will be on the website for a long time to come. <laughs> <laughs> in, in memory. <laughs> come back and watch the highlights of Monday no Mortgage Matters if you miss me. I'm going to miss you, Marilyn. <laughs> I'll miss you, too. Goodbye. <laughs> Bye. Yes. And quantify. <laughs> Does it say quantify? No. <laughs> Free fall. Be a purple, purple fry. <laughs>
I don't want to stand up because my girdle's a little tight. <laughs> <laughs> so long, farewell, until we meet again. Da, 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 da. I gotta go get I it, yeah. will remember you. Do, 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 do. Will you remember?